So this master of yours wants your markings back? Skin and all? So his hunters told me, unwillingly. So why not cover them up? Wouldn't that make you harder to find? Let them come. I am not one to hide. Still, if it were me... It's not. You can almost see home from here. What's left of it, I guess. I was a beast then, a werewolf. I did many terrible things. I... I'm sorry. Sorry does not bring my mother back. I was a victim too, Elf. Of Zathrian's vengeance. Stranger, please calm her down. Did I hear you right? You're a werewolf. I was one, but no longer. Her Dalish Keeper cursed some humans with lycanthropy long ago. The disease spread over the years, but the hero of Ferelden freed us. He's all yours. Run, Shem. It will make the hunt more enjoyable. No further, human. Calvishoth control these passages. Ambushes are usually quieter, Kunari. I did not intend to ambush. I expected to warn a caravan, but you are not helpless. The path ahead is littered with my kind. If you are as skilled as you look, it would please me if you killed them. Is this Kunari courage? I am not. Kunare. Well, you're no dwarf. Kunare are of the Kuhn. I am Tal Vashoff. So are the others. They murder and steal, and I won't. So I warn you, now I will leave. If they have offended you so much, help me go after them. But I am worse. They don't want to raise their swords for coin, so they murder and steal. They cling to the honor they held under the cube. My sword means nothing. I will sell it and myself as mercenary. Kunare would say I am worse. If your blade is on the market, I'll pay. No. Are you sure you know what mercenary means? Taking payment to face Tal Vishoth only proves that I've sold the last of myself. I know what I am. I don't need to belabor it. You have my word of caution, human. Heed it or do not. Sometimes I think their brains are twisted up in those horns of theirs.
By all means, lead on. What's with that magical fisting thing you do? Um, sorry? You know, when you stick your hand into people. Oh, that. Yes, it's, uh, talent. You could make so much coin with that.
Let me pass. I have business with the dwarf Javaris and your Arashok. The short mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. You go on ahead. I would rather not. An awkward time to run off, Isabella. Ah, oh, you know I'd never leave you. It's just that I really have to leave. Now. Right hand arrives. Summon your era, Shock. The bargain is done. About time you showed. I've been here for hours. Ari Shokost, Maras Shokra. Anan Isamkun. Look hewn from an elf. The madness of this place. Friend of yours. Friend of no one. Yes, well, that said, I'm here to report that your hated Talvashoth were felled, one and all, right? Yes, they were. So, I'm ready to open negotiations for the explosive powder, as we agreed. not getting it. Make your chatty elf say something. Any insight that would help? Kunari, do not abandon a debt. I humbly request clarification from the Arishok. I have a growing lack of disgust for you. The dwarf imagined the deal for the Gatlock. He invented a task to prove his worth when he has none. Then we have wrongly inserted ourselves in your affairs. Would you have us kill this dwarf? Wait. What now? If you face Talvashoth, he is not worthy of dying to you, as he was not worthy of dying to them. But you, you keep good company. Let him live, and leave. He had big plans for your recipe. I was supposed to get a piece of that. Dwarf, did your imaginary bargain make promises on my behalf? I uh, expected your wisdom to be more profitable. Then you will pay on my behalf. It's not at all. Take your coin, take whatever. Hornhead Oxman and Mongrel Dawn Lords, suck your own powder and blow your head off. Sod it. You will leave as well, human. There's no more coin for you here. There is no more. Your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal. This city, all of it, leaves a bad taste. If you despise this place, why haven't you left? Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave, but how can you bear to stay in this chaos? I agree. It's a mess. But you don't see that as a problem? I see it as an opportunity, and I intend to take full advantage. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. 
They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. It is an undeniable certainty. What full advantage can you take without that authority? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be. As do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. I am not the one to educate you. I did not intend to land here. But this city may demand certainty. I suspect we are done, human. I don't think Kirkwall would do well under military rule. The rule of the Cune is not military. It is discipline and order. How is that different? To your limited understanding, it is not. You fear soldiers that arrive to remove your pitiable vices. But they do not control Kunari. The Triumvirate divides and governs. One is nothing without the others. Can you tell me about the other two parts? No. Now you're just being difficult. I am no more equipped to explain than you are to understand. Ari Shock, Ari Gaina, Ari Kuhn. Pillars of the Kunari, of the nation that must be. There is but one way to know these things, human. And I have yet to decide if it must be done. You're a long way from home. Why did you come? To meet a demand of the Kuhn. Which was? It is a matter only the Kunari understand. We remain until we fulfill the demand of the Kuhn. Or until the demand changes. You guard your powder carefully. It is a tool that can only be allowed to exist under the ordered authority of the Kuhn. It could benefit many people. It does now. Just as swords benefit warriors, but are not given to children. Well, your children. How many Kunari have you lost to the Talvashoth? None. Optimistic, considering my death toll. We lose nothing when weakness abandons the Kuhn. It is the Talvashoth who have lost themselves. I met an honorable one. Doubtful. He said he was a mercenary, not a murderer. Then I know he made no claim to honor. When they sell themselves, little remains. He is not even dead to the Kuhn. He is a living insult. Farewell. Panahedan, human. Get your ship out of here. It's stinking up my dock. Repent, and the Maker will forgive. This fell into my hands. Recognize it? I had long since paid my debt over this. It's grand to see it again. No work. What do we do with the human? Stand down. She's not our foe. What was that about? Assassins. The boat to Ravain is within sight, but the Carta would see me dead before I get there. How would you like to make some coin? I've never seen a dwarven lord. You still haven't. If you're looking at him in daylight, he's not a lord anymore. I'm Renville Harrimont, the last of my house. My family was once revered in Orzammar. Now I'm nothing but a surfacer on the run. 
You must have greatly angered the Carter for them to attack you with so many witnesses around. My family was murdered one by one by King Balin after my uncle failed to claim the throne. Balin's reach is long, and his vengeance a terrible thing to behold. I'll clear the way for you, Harrimont. Dispatch these ruffians and I'll pay you what I can now. And by the ancestors, I will reward you proper when I am safe. What is your name? Hawk. A good name. I will remember it. The Carta has several groups lying in wait for us. Take the battle to them. You look like a thinker. Never going near a ship again. Harrimont spoke to you, didn't he? Whatever reward he offered, we'll offer you more to kill him. How about I take care of you instead? Stupid bastard! Yes. <laughs> Good day to you. Make her turn his gaze on you. Not a favorite stuff. I hate solid ground. I'd rather get planked than grounded. You from the south? I wager you've a bright future ahead of you. Take this. More will come, as promised. May the stone look after you.
here, miss. Word is you're looking for help. And paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Can she expect to survive Lowtown inviting that kind of attention? Can you save someone so intent on being foolish? intervention. I am out of my element. Surely you didn't realize that just now. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. I just saved you in an alley, and suddenly we're in business? You're in Lowtown. What grand scheme could I be interrupting? Varnell? Not so helpless, I see. I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. Nice to see you, too. I thank you for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety who will not link this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. Time is wasting. Who is going where? My name is Sister Patrice. I have assumed a burden of charity. This is my charge. Shiva Da. Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts. I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people, or being seen in my care. I've had dealings with the Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader? If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. If you are so intent on this, why not use Chantry resources? My order will soon realize the Kanari presence is more than a test of faith. It is an open challenge. But for now, I must act on my own. Helping this mage shows how Kunari heresy cannot be ignored. His flight is vital. Is freedom so helpful? A new life with that collar seems doubtful. And yet it is more than he has. My reach is limited. His struggle is his own. It just seems like releasing a bird. Cage and all. We do what we can to step toward what is right. That must be enough. You are not interested in who you might be hiring. If you were important enough to know, I would need someone else. But if you insist... What is your family name? My name is Hawk. Strong. Very Ferelden. The Canari have hardly pressured the southern nations. You have not seen as many converts or those who refused. If this action, if any action, can lessen their influence, it must be done. Will he help? If I trust him at all. I don't know his capabilities or if he can function at all in that collar. But I think he knows we are his only way out. You think? He has followed every direction and made no aggressive moves, even when taunted. 
Were I in his place, I could have fled. Kunari or not, I can only assume he wants to be led to freedom. And if you're wrong, I have to deal with it. That is why I went to Lowtown. You are either capable of the discretion and skill that I need, or you are not. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. I had never thought about the plight of mages among the Canari. But it seems they are even more oppressed than we are. This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you were hired. Good luck. If the deep roads is what you want, you have the coin to do it. I would not approve of coming here to the guards. He's not very helpful, is he? Ah, look at this. Undercities feared by all. But there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Call it like a dumb lord's bitch. He's some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who'll pay the most for your pet. <laughs> I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? You lot think you're so damn right. Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. You want us bound, like this thing. I'll see you dead first. By the void! Kill it! Kill them all! Did you react because your lead was threatened? <laughs> How much of this is just blind instinct, I wonder? <laughs> you can't gesture or stomp your feet twice for yes or something. 
<laughs> the sister has assumed a great deal from a few grunts and twitches. You did what I said. Did I hit the right phrase or something? <laughs> right. Could have expected that answer. I'm getting you out of here before you help again. <laughs> Still clear as a bell. Great. You will hold Basra Bashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Sarabas at your heel. The members of this Karatan were killed by Talbashan, but their disposal leads only here, to Sarabas and you. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Sarabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basra. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Sarabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Sarabas, show that your will remains bound to the Kune. <laughs> he has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. I've met with your leader. The Arashok would not want a potential ally challenged in this way. Claiming to know the will of the Arishok with Sarabas in your care is Marasi Mikari, a child bleating without meaning. The Arishok knows what is to be done with Sarabas who lose their Avarad. There is no greater threat to their control. The sister called him Katojin. You are Sarabas? Sarabas is his role and his name, as you understand it. It is the accusation and acknowledgement of being a mage. And you are Avarad. My role is to hold the leash and hunt the Grey Ones who leave the Kune. Or Baz who have not yet been enlightened. You don't care that someone abused your debt to get you here? No doubt they were cast from your shoulders as you or your partner thieves grew weak. It is a crime whose victims are beyond caring. It will be dealt with, but the greater threat is clear. It is my role to secure Sarabas. It is the role of another to purge the perversions of your kind. He is bound and abused, and you want him caged. Why? The power that he has, that all Cerebas have, draws from chaos and demons. They can never be in control. So you fear them? Like so many others. We leash Cerebas because they are dangerous and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. I'm not giving him to you. He'll choose his own path. He wants what the cube demands. He is nothing else. You, Basra, your kind have no sense. The opportunity for reason will be forced upon you. You will all be brought to the Kune.
can you stand? I am unbound. Odd. Wrong. But you deserve honor. You are now Basvarad, worthy of following. I thank your intent, even if it was wrong. I know the will of our Varad. I must return as it demanded. It is the wisdom of the Kuhn. I went to all this trouble, and you still want to die. I do not want to die. I want to live by the cube. Which means dying. Yes. Is that hard to grasp? Avarad couldn't kill me. Perhaps he was wrong about your death, too. Losing to you does not make him wrong. He spoke the Kuhn. I have chosen. It is bred in the bone. Existing is not a choice. It is the only choice. As it tal ebb, it is to be. Patrice might take you back if death is the only other option. The sister was not honest. What do you mean? I cannot say what she wanted, but it was certainty, not of the Kuhn. And her guard smelled of death. Others of your kind live outside the Kuhn. You could join them. They are not my kind. I am Kinari. They are not. They have chosen to be free. Free? They have refused what they are. I can't choose to not be. Could you have returned if I'd let these others live? No. You were doomed from the start. I was outside my Keratom. I may be corrupted. I cannot know. How I return is my choice. Of all the ridiculous, spineless, mind-controlled, senseless piece of shit arguments I've ever heard. What comfort has freedom brought you, mage? You would have more if you submitted to the Kuhn. I can't let this decision stand. If you force choice, it is not choice. Your doubt does not make me wrong. Certainty is comfort. That is the way of the Kunari. The way of the Kuhn. Take this secret thing, Basfarad. Remember this day. was free she may not have known about this but clearly patrice set a trail right to us if this was her doing i have a few questions for her
Leave nothing. It must be clean, with no ties. It... Hawk? It was Hawk, right? From the streets? You took the Canari from the city? Without incident? You know what we faced. Mind your tongue, Ferelden. Please, do speak your mind. The bodies of the mages Karatam led right to us. Why? You come back speaking their language and think to lecture me. If such a plot existed, if the Kunari had murdered you for trying to help their slave mage, then yes, someone might have found that useful. It would have cast doubt on appeasement. Perhaps your death would have been a tragic necessity. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. But all we have now are dead Kunari and the word of a sympathizer. Your Katojan killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. You risked my life. Perhaps I should return the favor. No doubt you would prove a challenge for my guard, but I will not offer the chance today. Violence here serves no purpose. I accept the grim necessities of standing in the Maker's name, but I will not waste his gifts. You did better than you were asked. I will honor that arrangement. We will have nothing more to do with each other. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. She'll be trouble. So, you married a Templar, huh? What of it? Are they all as dirty as they seem? What? Did he ever ask you to play the naughty mage and the hapless recruit? Maybe the secret desire demon and the upstanding knight? That's disgusting. I hear it's quite popular. Us human. For now, I would think on the fate of this city. I've had confrontations with others in your command. There have been a number of incidents, but you must mean Arvarad, found dead after tracking Cerebas. I thought nothing could threaten Arvarad. You're not angry. A mage is dead. That is what matters. The rest is impressive. But do not repeat it. I believe a member of the Chantry intended it to happen. Friend and enemy blend together in this sea of filth. I can barely discern one group from another. But as this clearly means something to you, I acknowledge the risk taken. Sarabas chose death over leaving the Kyun. That is good to hear. That is all you have to say. I will not insult Sarabas with the suggestion that making the right choice was difficult. I expect as much from every Kunari. I doubt Sarabas earned a greater honor in his life than my reaction now. Farewell. Panahedan, human. 